work. All right, so let me give you some context. Typically the way I climb is DDRT using two climbing lines for better work positioning, depending on the tree. I mostly do pruning work. So depending on the tree, you know, if it's a widespread canopy, you know, going a leader to leader, I like to incorporate two climbing lines. That way, you know, I can kind of hop on one, hop off the other, or even stay tied in to both, depending if it's necessary. Um, that being said, I also have two lanyards. Me personally, I like to stay tied in twice at all times. Um, I mean, maybe when I'm moving around the canopy, I might take my lanyard off, but as far as like, you know, when I'm readjusting my ropes, my equipment, I like to be tied in twice. So, as you can see here, I got a good solid tying point on the lowest limb, and I want to advance it up to the next limb. So, this is where I like the lower Ds. What I'm going to do is take my second lanyard here, boom. Okay, so now I've got my lanyard around the trunk crisscrossed so that if I, you know, was to slip or whatever, this would cinch up and prevent me from falling. And now I got the second lanyard through the lower D rings around this limb. So not only does that keep me tied in twice, but now I'm more comfortable for throwing my rope over to the next limb because I'm climbing spikeless. So having these lower D rings here has, you know, kind of just contributed to better work positioning, increased safety for different scenarios. Um, I mean, even before I had the saddle, you know, I typically followed the protocol for me at least of, you know, preferring to be tied in twice when readjusting equipment or whatever. Um, and this is just another way that I can do that very easily. Um, you could also do it with another climb line uh, like I said, I usually carry two lanyards when I climb, sometimes two lines. Now, another good thing about this saddle is I could add another rope bridge right here. So for somebody who climbs with two lines, that can certainly be a benefit. I've also been meaning to look into maybe getting something for my rope bridge to hook my line into. Um, if you guys have any different ideas or suggestions, anything you like, I'd love to hear it. And the rope bridge is pretty decent size, so, you know, you can move around at odd angles if you have to. You know, sometimes if you're limb walking or trying to reach, you know, with your saw. So overall, um, kind of feel the same way that I did when I first made a video about this saddle when I first got it. Very comfortable saddle, holds up well. Um, you know, I've been in it for long periods of time and I don't have any issues with lower back pain or my legs, you know, cramping up from it being too tight. I did go with size two. I probably could have gone with size one, but because of my fitness goals, trying to bulk up and get bigger and everything, um, I felt like going with the bigger size would be more appropriate for me. Um, and then of course, I mean, it's got a ton of different attachment points. For tools and stuff, you've got right here, right here. Okay, so on my last video that I made about the saddle, somebody, you know, made a comment about buckle clicking type buckles for a saddle and it's not one way it's two way so first you have to lift this up then you have to push this this in right here right so lift this up push this in I can understand the concern of buckles you know clips like that because you know 
you accidentally bump it in the tree, you don't want it to come undone. So by having two locking mechanisms like that, um, that not only helps increase safety, but might help give you peace of mind. Now, I have never had any issues with it unbuckling while in the tree, while working. So that's just my personal experience. Um, I know that might be a concern to some people, so I wanted to just address that, that I've never had any issues with it popping open. So overall, I'm happy with the saddle. I'm glad I purchased it. I have no regrets. Um, this was actually my first real like expensive saddle. I was climbing on like a $60 one I found on Amazon before, but it was actually a quality saddle. I would recommend it if uh, you're looking to try it out. Um, this is the non-SRT version, just if you were wondering. And um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.